Hello everyone and welcome to the ninth lecture in the Streamlit series. In this video, we will be doing the status elements in Streamlit. So basically the first one that we are going to do is the progress part. So before that, I need to import the Streamlit. So I have to say import a Streamlit as ST and then go and start this command prompt. So as you can see, a blank canvas has come. Now what I need to do over here is I need to go and show you the first one, which is the progress bar. So for the progress bar, what you need to do is let's say you have a text and you know this particular for this particular video, most of the things or almost all of the things have been taken from the documentation because it was that simple. Okay. So let's say percentage completed. Okay. So this is a text that we want to show, but show how. So we will say my bar equal to st dot progress and so for, for the progress bar, you need to have st.progress. You need to give the integer of whatever the progress is right now. So starting, obviously, we will have zero progress and give the text associated. So text is going to be txt. OK, now, obviously, the progress needs to increase. So for that, what we can do is let's say PR for PR in range 100. So obviously, the percentage will go from zero to 100. Here, what you can say is time dot sleep. So we will wait for 0 0.1 seconds. Uh, you can go over here and import time. And then finally, what happens here is we will say uh, my bar or uh, yes, my bar dot progress. So we will say my underscore bar dot progress, progress, and we will give the uh, integer. So the integer is going to be PR plus one because obviously we had zero so this will start from zero so we will have zero plus one that is zero and then it will continue and then finally we will have text which is again going to be text okay so this is how we're going to do it now we will come over here and rerun you will see the progress bar will come you can see the progress bar is moving and it will go till over here for 100 okay so this is how you uh, demonstrate your progress bar you can also have other text over here. So this was for the progress bar. Now let's go to the second one. The second one is the spinner. So which is basically shown when you are downloading or rather when you are, you know, when some operation is happening similar to the progress bar, but you don't know the correct time or the full time that's going to take. So for the spinner, we use something like width. So st dot spinner. Okay. You're going to have st dot spinner and then you're going to have test text here okay so wait for it okay so this was the exact as that was given in the documentation now what will happen is uh, you go inside that and let's say you are going to sleep for five seconds okay and then finally what happens is you can go and print some success or you know some message uh, you can say st dot write and say uh, wait over okay so you can go over here rerun this entire file so you can see it will wait for five seconds and then it will show you the message. So it is, you can see the spinner is running and once that five seconds is finished, you have wait over. Okay. So this is how you use the spinner. It's very, very handy if you are going to use some uh, deep learning models that take some amount of time for giving inference on certain things or even while training a model. Okay. So these are the two things. Now you have basically the very easy ones that is the balloons. Okay. So you might have some. Uh, you might have seen in some uh, videos or in places where balloons come out from the bottom of the screen. So you can have balloons and just do nothing over here and rerun. You can see all these balloons are flying. Okay, so might be used for some success. If if you want to uh, you know show the viewer some success, the third one or rather the fourth one is going to be st dot snow. I'm going very fast with this because it's not really important. You can see some snowflakes that are falling down then you can also go and have something like an error so now this is important let's say you want to show an error uh, that has occurred in your code so you can say this is an error message okay um, you can go over here you can rerun so you can see this is an error message and obviously the background is red you can obviously change these messages now instead of doing something else we just say in uh, the fifth one or rather the sixth one is warning so this was error and this was warning okay so you go over here and then you rerun the color will change so initially it was red now it's more of a dark brown okay so now you can do 
you can change this also now instead of warning you have info so let's say you want a you want to show an informational informational message okay informational message and you can go over here and then rerun and definitely the color will change and this will turn to blue and this is an informational message okay now after information you can have success so you can have this is a success message you can go over here then again rerun so the color will change and the messages message will change you can definitely do some other things over here lastly what you can do is have an exception so let's say you can define an exception or a runtime error okay so let's say you have a runtime error and you want to print some message so let's say exp and then instead of success obviously we will have an exception over here so we will say exceptio an exception and we will just pass nothing more than e okay and then we will go over here we will rerun and then you can see an uh, runtime error is showing with the message that we wanted it to show that is exp so i hope you understood the video and bye